U.S. vehicle inventory is at 2.4 billion, just in time for year end. Woohoo! Welcome back to the Homer Guy Channel, the ultimate destination for car enthusiasts and shoppers alike. Today we're hitting the latest, greatest news regarding a monumental milestone in the automotive world that literally seemed to take forever to get here. <laughs> Fasten your seatbelts and get ready to rev up your engines and explore a staggering new car inventory of 2.4 million cars industry-wide. Friends, we've been telling you that this day was coming. I'm your host, Kevin Hunter, the Homer Guy, and right across from me is none other than the amazing Elizabeth. Glad to have you back, Liz. Oh, thank you. Well, from sleek sports cars to robust trucks, eco-friendly hybrids to luxury sedans, the industry-wide selection of cars has hit a peak that we've been predicting would come, opening the doors to a big inventory of 2.4 million vehicles. Join us as we celebrate this incredible news and dive into the sea of vehicle options where your dream car awaits. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and turn on those notifications because you won't want to miss a single moment of our extraordinary show. Welcome to the big leagues where choice is king and your perfect ride is just a click away. Let's get this show on the road. In the latest greatest report from Automotive News, new vehicle inventory in the U.S. continued to recover in October despite production interruptions from the pesky UAW strike and is close to where it was as of March 2021 when shortages of microchips and other components began to cut into dealer stock. The real question is, what does this mean for you if you're on the hunt for a new vehicle? Let's discuss that in a moment. Cox Automotive confirms this report saying they estimate automakers started November with 2.4 million new vehicles in inventory representing a 67-day supply overall, an increase of about 190,000 vehicles from a month earlier, and about 919,000 vehicles higher than it was a year ago. Pretty incredible jumps given that the big three were on strike yep. recently. Cox calculates day supply using the last 30-day sales rate which reports show is running about 15% above the same period a year ago, but admittedly a bit more sluggish than the other recent months. Cox said the day supply had increased by seven days in the previous month and is now at its highest point since late 2020, while also being 41% higher than a year ago. As has been the case for much of the last year, the tightest inventory levels include the least expensive vehicles. Vehicles with sticker prices below 20000 were in the shortest supply because automakers are making a lot less of those cheaper vehicles. Oh, exactly. Cox Automotive said that it was still Toyota that had the smallest day supply. Dodge had the largest. Among volume U.S. nameplates, the Toyota Corolla Cross and New Grand Highlander had the tightest day supply, followed by the Honda CRV Hybrid and Toyota Corolla, while the Ford F-150, Chevrolet Silverado 1500, and Ram 1500 half-ton full-size pickups all had day supply levels over 108 days, Cox reported. Six of the seven automakers that report monthly U.S. sales saw their day supply increase in the previous month, with only Volvo remaining flat, according to Automotive News Research and Data Center. Friends, Liz posed the question, what does this mean for you if you're on the hunt for a new vehicle? Well, let's talk about that. First, it means there is plenty of inventory available to find a good car deal out there. Friends, many of the channel members we've been working with are having fabulous luck landing good car deals. Yes. And dealers have been quite a bit more responsive than they were not long ago. And many have been willing to drop ridiculous products like that dang window etching we've been discussing for years. <laughs> I personally worked on three truck deals for business clients of mine and the dealer dropped $2,700 in fees, an $895 processing fee, and a $1,995 destination fee. These were on 3,500 Ram trucks priced well below MSRP. And that was for a business right here in Williston. Awesome. The bottom line is that nobody should be paying market adjustments on these year-end deals. The high inventory numbers have blown those stupid arguments completely out of the water. Completely out of the water. And as we've constantly advised, if the dealer in your area is still expecting to get paid a market adjustment, shop outside your area. You need to do exactly what this viewer did. Surreality4 reports, I got out the door quotes from a few different dealerships because all the local dealerships were charging a market adjustment. Way to go. Yeah. So I returned to my local dealer and told them I had an out the door quote with no market adjustment and asked them if they could beat it. They said they thought they could. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Aww. They just needed me to fill out a credit app and send them a copy of my driver's license and they could send me a quote. I called them out on that, especially because no one else had asked me for a credit app. I replied to this comment by saying, nice work taking your shopping outside your home area to avoid market adjustments. 
And I'd add to that, great job calling them out on the credit app nonsense. An honest question about year-end rebates is this. Is it truly a savings when the manufacturer reduces the price with a rebate, or are the rebates just taking into consideration the amount of depreciation the vehicles have suffered by sitting there over the past year? Well, our viewer Timberland gets a prize for nailing it with this explanation. Manufacturer discounts at the end of the year are nearly equal to the one-year depreciation for that car or truck. It's not as much of a discount as it is an adjustment to its value. You got it. In closing on this discussion, how growing inventory is helping year-end deals this year, there's no doubt that it makes a difference. However, I do want to acknowledge the observations and comments by some of our viewers who have said they're waiting another year to buy. Well, if you can, friends, you should do that. I'm telling you, we will hear about more smoking hot deals than we can keep track of going into next year. One of our recent channel members, Mark Miller, a guy who has been great to work with, by the way, made this comment on a recent video. These are the best videos, and thanks for all the info on keeping us from getting suckered. So many greedy dealers out there, and you two have saved us thousands. I'm looking to purchase a high-end Chevy 2024 truck model in 2023, and wonder if these tactics will pertain in 2023 to the next 2024 year models, or should we just go ahead going with the best deal? After shopping for months, negotiating, and finding a good deal currently, which is 5,500 below MSRP, and actually out the door is even below MSRP. Right. It sounds too good to be true, but they are willing to send a written purchase agreement. What do you think? Thank you so much. Pay attention here, friends. Mark has been working hard, and as you can see, his offers are well below MSRP. Well done, Mark. I'm very proud of you. Friends, if you feel you lack the skills to get this right and you need help finding and purchasing a vehicle that's right for you, just join our channel as a member today and get direct help and involvement from me and Kevin. We don't want you to get burned and we promise with our help you won't. It's extremely easy to join. Just hit the little join button right below the video and select a package that's right for you. If you have trouble finding how to join, please send me a text to 701-441-3399 and I'll just text you back a link. For the direct help that you need, Get the Homework Guy Help Package for $24.99, which offers direct email contact with us. You can also ask us unlimited questions via email, which is a special email only for members. The next package is a Homework Guy Consults at $49.99. This package gives regular text message contact with both me and Kevin, and you'll get direct contact with Kevin's personal cell phone. This is in addition to the email from the previous package. Also, any membership level can be canceled at any time, so there's no risk for you and limited expense. I have already posted my personal cell number in the members only section of our community page. And although it's not listed as a benefit for any of the packages, I have personally called several members already. And as most members have said, the value of the membership was well worth it with just one phone call. Also, as an extra incentive for the first 50 members to sign up, and this is true for any level of membership, you just have to be a member when the time comes, you will get a free copy of our Car Buyer's Manual when it comes yeah! out. That's likely to be around Christmas, and we are making serious headway on it. Be aware that becoming a member is simple. Just hit the Join button below the video to sign up today. And as Liz said, you can just text her and she'll send you the link. Again, the contact number, 701-441-3399. I also want to remind our regular viewers about all the free content we have on our website, thehomeworkguy.com. So make sure you take time to give us a visit. We improve on our website regularly. Besides the website, you can also connect with us on other social media sites like Facebook. So go like our page if you haven't already done that. If you've just recently joined the Homework Guy channel as a subscriber, we thank you, appreciate you, and welcome you aboard. And if you just became a new member of our channel, we've enjoyed working with you. Thank you for putting your trust in us. Also, thanks again to our many faithful followers who just keep coming back. And to all of our longtime subscribers out there, you guys rock. And you know you do. God bless you all. I'm Kevin Hunter, the Homework Guy, signing off with amazing Elizabeth, the Homework Gal. The Homework Guy team is serving truth, justice, and transparency in the car business and always will. We've, we've got to go. go.